So just one or two quick points before we begin. The IDE we're using is called JDoodle and it's a free online site. The big upside to this is that anyone can follow along using JDoodle provided that you have a computer and a web browser, which is why we've picked it. But it does mean things like not being able to save your work. So we'd encourage you to save your code to your computer as you go. This short course is designed for people to take on desktop or laptop, not on their phones. It is doable on the phone, but you'll have a much better experience on desktop because you'll be able to code properly. Really, anytime you're writing code, you kind of need a keyboard. If you make a mistake in your code, you're probably going to see an error in what's known as your console, which is that black box beside JDoodle when you run your code. Your console is going to tell you a couple of things. The little number here will tell you what line your error is on, so you can go straight there and see if you can fix it. And you'll also get an error description. For instance here, cannot find symbol means that either I've misspelled something or I've defined a variable that doesn't exist. In this case, it's telling me F does not exist. If you're trying to solve your errors, you should always solve from the top. So if you have several errors, try and fix the first one, execute again, and then move on to the second one and so on. In the full course, you learn much more about how to solve errors on the fly. But for this course, we've provided all of the code that you need in text form on this web page as well. So if you can't find your error, you can always go and copy our code that we've provided. If you do get really stuck, we'd be happy to talk to you. You can contact us at the form down at the bottom of the page. You can just send us a query about your code. Or if you have a query about the full course, we'd be happy to talk to you there as well. And that's it. Jump into the course and we hope you enjoy it.